Hi, this is Freya from Otherworldly, and I'd like to welcome you to my uh, new home, at least for the time being in Second Life, the new Amsterdam houseboat. It is a project that Dutchie has been working on for many years, making a uh, replica of the oldest houseboat in the Netherlands. And uh, she has been making uh, furnishings to go with it, uh, a mixed selection of mid-century inspired pieces. You've probably seen a lot of these released um, over the last few years, I think it is, as this project has been worked on. And now you can get it all in a sort of finished package and you can either just get the houseboat itself and that's uh, not so little as you can see. It's uh, quite a considerable house. It is a full house really for your SL needs and so if you have a, a plot by the water it's it's perfect as a home. And then you can get uh, a furnished version as well which has all of the furniture created for the houseboat. And on top of that you can then get various upgrade packages for different sets of adult animations depending on uh, what floats your boat, uh, pardon the pun. Um, as you can see, the exterior of the houseboat is very nicely detailed and it is a, a upgraded and renovated version of the exteriors of the boat that it is based on. The interior uh, is a little closer to the, um, the woods and tiles that are used in the actual houseboat. You've got uh, one place of entry here and um, this plank comes with it actually so you can dock it. Um, don't have a canal as you can see but um, one of my sky sims with sky water does just fine I think. Uh, you've got two decks uh, outside that you can go out and enjoy the uh, the sun on. Uh, no um, deck chairs included though so you'll have to provide those on your own. And um, I thought we would take a little tour through the uh, houseboat and uh, see what the interior is like as well. And we'll see if I manage to uh, walk the plank here without um, falling into the water. Yes, I did. And I'll close the door so we get some space because uh, this is, has a very realistic sizing uh, if you just look at it. Um, me standing next to the coat rack here, I think it's uh, quite nicely done. Um, a little bit larger, of course, you do need a little bit larger for Second Life, but it isn't as massive as many houses are, and which tends to dwarf my poor, somewhat more realistically sized avatar. So um, I love the fact that, that she does keep it more, uh, <coughs> excuse me, more realistic. And uh, let's see where we're going to start our little tour of the house. Perhaps we should start in the uh, bathroom. That's always a good place to start. Make sure that the house has all the necessities. So here you see a nicely tiled floor and a fully equipped bathroom. You've got a nice uh, bath uh, tube. Um, is what it's called? Yes, bathtub, bathtub, bathtub. I'm blanking on my words today. You've got a shower here as well. Um, let's say this is the PG versions uh, that the uh, houseboat, uh, the furnace version ships with, uh, but you can upgrade most of these to adult versions as well. And here we have a uh, the sink. The, the large sink and these come with animations as well. So I'm just going to camera around a little bit. As you can see I do end up a little bit high <clears throat> but you can adjust that. So I can just go and drop myself down a little bit. Let's see if I need to drop myself down even further. I'm not sure these heels are terribly practical for a houseboat but there you go. Uh, so there we are. Uh, and I'm going to be brushing my hair, maybe. Let's see. So you've got a nice set of, you know, role play style, you know, daily life <coughs> animations that uh, are included in a lot of these furnishings. 
You can put on lipstick, you can do your mascara, you can shave your legs. Everything's right here. Um, and while I'm doing that, I will just come around and show you a little bit more. We've got, as I said, the bathtub. Um, and over here we have, uh, of course, a toilet is needed. Just a bathtub and a shower won't do. Um, this is um, a little difficult to come in and show you, perhaps, but here we go. Um, toilet, sink, and paper. Always uh, very good to have in a toilet. Um, not all SL toilets have that. If we have, um, I remember correctly some others that I have set up for decoration purposes. So, um, really, it's um, you know beautifully furnished, and I certainly uh, you know wouldn't mind staying in a place like this. Um, the doors, the carving on the doors are really nice as well, and uh, great detail. So we go out here again. And as you saw, the bathroom, um, I'll come in here again and show you. And apologies for all the walls that you're going to be seeing on and off in the video. It's uh, it's unavoidable with uh, such close quarters. Uh, the door out is from the bathroom, so technically I guess somebody could swim up to the houseboat, climb over the side, and if you haven't locked that door, they could come in and surprise you in the bath. So remember, always lock that door. Anyway, we're going to close that door now. And we're going to continue by going into the kitchen. We first we go out here into the main living area, which I'm going to show you after that. And then we close that door and we open this one instead. And we step into the beautifully tiled little kitchen. It is a fully equipped kitchen as well. You've got um, your ovens, you've got a way to do the dishes, although somebody hasn't done the dishes right now. Um, and these are also upgradable to adult, I think. You've got a little fridge. Everything's here, really. So I think somebody needs to read a recipe. I'm not going to do the dishes. Uh, come around here and get away from this glaringly white, whatever it is. There we are, there's my stove again. And I'm going to adjust myself to be a little lower down. We do a save all on all poses. I have a personal offset if I want to change anything. And there we go, perfect. My hand is pretty much spot on. And I am reading the uh, recipe and preparing today's meal. Uh, there are so many really, I mean, the selection of poses, I keep going on about this with uh, Dutchieite. The selection of animations is always superb. Uh, they're really natural and um, <clears throat> lots of fun, uh, you know, second life, daily role play or, you know, just daily interaction uh, animations. And uh, if we just take a look at the menus here, you can see that we have preparations, we have cooking and cleaning, we have eating and drinking, and then we have some talks, cuddles, and kisses. Uh, and of course, if you have the adult version, you've got more than that that you can do in this kitchen because of course it is a sex kitchen. All, um, virtually all uh, kitchens in Second Life can in some way be turned into a sex kitchen, uh, which is, you know, that's the, just the way it's in Second Life. It would be very sad if it wasn't, I think. So, uh, that's the kitchen for you. And then we go out into the area which has the most furnishings. I, I really like the style of the ki kitchen, by the way. It's uh, a very... Uh, has a really nice old-fashioned feel. Of, where is that door? No, that door is not there. There is that door. And there is that door. Oh, there we go. Okay. So here we have um, a little table set up on the upper uh, area of the living room with uh, a wine and cheese selection for two uh, for a nice little cozy evening. And um, over here we can sit and have a listen to our uh, uh, media consoles, also vintage style of course. Uh, 
problem of courses turn around your focus and then you just and decides to oops to lock up on you. Pardon my uh, dizziness for a moment here. There we go. I'll try and fix myself up. I am going to sit demure. I better do because I'm not sure I um, remembered my underwear. Oops. I uh, usually don't in um, uh, Second Life. So it's good that the scourge tend to uh, cover my sins anyway. Oh no, of course, now I realize why I'm so um, high up on all the furniture. I, was, I ended up using hover height for the uh, for the for the uh, heels, and that's why I'm um, getting pushed up like this. There, there we go. Seated a bit better on this uh, cocktail chair here, and uh, so you've got a nice little corner. You've got, of course, also. Um, paintings and such for the walls. I think if I put this one a little close, judging by the flickering, so I'm going to move it out a notch. Uh, you do have to um, furnish it yourself, even if you buy the furnished version. Uh, the pieces are, uh, you rest them out um, from different boxes and uh, then you um, get your kind uh, partner to uh, place them all for you because you get dizzy when trying to place things in uh, confined spaces in Second Life. That's how it works. Um, you just ask him very, very nicely and he places everything very prettily. Like this living room took a while, but uh, we managed to get through it anyway. So in the living room you have a cozy uh, fire, fireplace. Uh, you have a nice chair in the um, the corner, lap dance chair as you see, there's definitely an adult version of that one. Uh, you have this cozy rug in the middle and this large sofa which can um, seat uh, all of your friends when you invite them to the houseboat. You have a little day bed here, I've shown this one separately quite recently, um, so just as an example of how these pieces have been released um, over time as they've been finished and they've all had being planned for different sections of the uh, the houseboat. And over here you've even got your work desk. So being on the houseboat is no excuse for not doing your work. Um, these lamps and everything, um, <clears throat> I like the, the fact that all these details are uh, included. For example, if you come over here to show you the uh, lamp here. I mean it comes with the wall socket uh, and the cable as part of the lamp so every little detail like that has been included uh, to make this very realistic and um, I really appreciate that. Uh, it's, a, it's an amazing amount of work and uh, I can't imagine how many hours it has taken in total to put all these pieces together but it's a uh, it's a fantastic job really. So here you have two doors as you can see one on each side which lead back to the bedroom. There's one bedroom uh, so your friends will have to sleep somewhere else after the party unless you're very friendly and they can all sleep in your bedroom. So you have a nice big bed though and a couple of nightstands to go with it. Again here you've got all sockets and things Oops, something's falling over in my background. Oops. Um, here you have the um, vintage, um, uh, what should we call it, um, vanity. The vanity, or sorry, the mid-century vanity that I showed um, just a few uh, blogs ago, really, um, is when this one was released. And uh, it's made to go into uh, this corner here. Uh, fits in you know, the wood and everything fits with everything else and you have your dresser here in a similar style and a nice large wardrobe um, the wardrobe has uh, a mirror as you can see so here you can also sit and uh, get yourself ready you can be blow drying your hair um, you can be brushing your hair, 
Oh, I see. This is uh, for what the guy is doing while you are brushing your hair. Ah! Of course. So while you're brushing your hair, he's eyeing you. Um, you can put on some powder. You see, these have auto-attaching ones from using the experiences. Sadly, of course, mirrors do not work in SL. They used to once in the distant past, but they no longer, so you tend to always have to photo them a little bit off an angle to um, either that or assume that everyone's a vampire, and then you kind of wonder why they're using them anyway. But, you know, that, that's just a limitation of Second Life that nobody can get around. Um, so you have a nice selection of uh, poses here. You also have some couple poses. Uh, I don't know. Yes, this is probably upgradable as well to adult as you as it says PG here. So um, it's probably another one that can get naughty. Um, see the bed almost. Well, the bed goes without saying that it can get naughty. Uh, the windows. I think all of them, just like the doors, will open to. Um, Allow you a nice view of the outside as well. Just walk straight over the bed here. And then you have these lovely little touches on the furnishings. Wow, just look at the detailing here. Look at the glasses and everything. Beautiful. And the button for turning the lamps on and off. And of course, all the lamps actually work. Um, there are options for how you want the bed to look. Let's see, does that work when I'm not on it? Yes, it should. Uh, here, yes. So you can have the cover folded like this. You can have it made up like that. Or untidily fallen off. And finally, it's laundry day and it has been stripped from the bed. So this is just when it's so in decorative use. These um, are color change, for example. The, these chairs uh, between quite a few different colors for the, the side tables. These come in brown or reddish wood, just, uh, just like the dresser. So you have some options like that for a, a number of the furnishings uh, to personalize the look of the houseboat further. I think I'm going to wander over to the um, middle section again and have a sit over here in the lap dance chair. But no, you're not getting a lap dance. I am just going to be having a sit. Let's see how that one works. It's not so bad, so well. Um, Maybe I'll just have a read. That That's perfect. I will have a read while I tell you a little bit more about the um, the details of the house. But of course I'm going to be putting this into uh, the blog post that goes with the video as well. I'm going to be linking to the information page from Dutchy. But I thought I could put a bit of it into the, um, the video as well. So the uh, houseboat itself ha um, needs 133 prims and if you furnish it with all the pieces uh, that are included in the furnished package it is uh, 247 additional prims for a total of 380. Um, if you buy the furnished version that's a uh, 30% discount on the houseboat and the furniture altogether. You have um, the pieces are linked uh, as much as possible when you rest them out. So there's uh, if you when you are set to res out all the furniture, you have 43 different um, uh, pieces to place, uh, plus um, an additional uh, 25 extras some core items that are actually linked in these pieces that you can have separately some furniture for mirrored positions so that you can tweak it but if you want to have the furnished one count on needing 380 prims it was um you know you can obviously buy a lot of these furnishings uh, uh separately they've already been released 
uh, and uh, for example you can get the the bedroom package you can get the bathroom and the kitchen all of those are available so if you'd like any of the individual pieces that's you know but you don't feel like having a whole houseboat that is all available at Dutchie and then there's the adult upgrade packages um, which also have a considerable discount uh, if you get a package there's the um, there's adult vanilla, there's male dom, femme dom, and all kinks if you want the whole package. You can also upgrade pieces separately and then you get a 10% discount. Uh, if you have purchased some of the furniture, they'll uh, work with you to adjust the price uh, depending on what you've already um, uh, purchased. So, um, I think that you can, you know, if you're interested in this one, you should take a look. Uh, you could um, definitely take a look. As I'm going to have it rest out on my sim for a good while, but it is also available to look at on uh, the Chase sim, which will probably be the easiest. There you can, you know, have a look at that and her other pieces in, in one go, and uh, have a walk around, see how, you know, it feels for you with camera angles and, and all of that. I said it can feel a little crowded at times because it is fairly realistic, but uh, I think it works beautifully, especially if you do adjust down your camera for a little bit of a tighter view as um, I tend to have for my avatars. Uh, I prefer to have it a little closer in, um, a little less far out top down, and then it works better in cramped spaces like this, where you might not have as much roof space or as much space behind you. Lots of options for uh, photos. Uh, I, fantastic, I think. Uh, all the individual pieces of furniture are, you know, great in their own right. Um, this just makes it much easier to uh, have all of it all together and uh, you know, enjoying the pieces in a context um, and actually um, I see that when I'm looking at the information on the houseboat it is built to be as close as possible to a uh, uh, realistic size and the same goes for uh, the furniture uh, you can resize it um, it, it default is uh, seven and a half meters wide and 44 meters long but you can uh, size it up if you prefer that uh, obviously then the furniture will not uh, fit as well as, as it does because it has been designed with these dimensions in mind um, I think that um, or I rather I know that I will be showing individual sections of the houseboat uh, more, no doubt. Um, it's got a lot of opportunities for great photo setups, uh, but I'm going to include some um, photos in the blog that show uh, the use of different pieces um, throughout the houseboat. So do look at that in addition to the video as well, especially if you uh, can't bear to hear me ramble on for, for this long. But the uh, you know the, the the short version is definitely that you do want to check this out, um, especially if this design aesthetic is something you enjoy in Second Life or in real life. Uh, and just as a example of fantastic things that you can do in Second Life these days, accomplishing this um, with mesh, with you know, baked materials and it's um, every bit as good as you know, what you'd see in uh, video games, I think, and shows that you know, the creators that work in Second Life are uh, many of them are you know top-notch um, creators, and uh, this is something that you um, uh, should check out. And if you the whole houseboat isn't uh, within your budget, maybe some of the uh, furnishings are and you can take home and enjoy a piece of it. So that's my recommendation until, uh, until the next video from Otherworldly.